What is developmental psychology? Developmental psychology is interested in discovering the psychological processes of human development, mostly with an emphasis on childhood and teenage years. However, adulthood is also studied. Some of the main assumptions of developmental psychology include the following. One, there are clearly identifiable systematic changes that occur in an individual's behavior from conception to death. Two, all behavior in adulthood is affected by experiences in childhood. Three, changes occur over a person's lifetime as a result of inherited factors or lifetime experiences arising from both nature and nurture. What are some of the strengths of developmental psychology? One strength of the developmental approach is that many studies in this area are longitudinal, which means that they get to investigate changes over a long period of time and how these changes are influenced. The developmental approach also enables psychologists to investigate different areas of development. Another strength of the developmental approach is that it can provide useful information about how we can better understand how children learn and deal with emotional difficulties, and it is therefore useful for improving the lives of children. Moreover, research in this area provides us with a good understanding of how humans develop and change over the whole of their lifetime and can influence many areas of everyday life, such as education. What are some of the weaknesses of developmental psychology? One possible problem with the developmental approach is that it has a tendency to generalize findings from very limited samples, because the studies take place over a long period of time and are therefore very expensive to run. The developmental approach also often looks for general patterns of development based on non-representative samples or samples which have an ethnocentric bias, which may ignore cultural differences relating to how children may learn in other parts of the world. However, it is true that many studies have been successfully replicated in other cultures, which provides validity for those studies. A further limitation of the developmental approach is the validity of measuring children's behavior and thoughts. We should question whether psychologists are actually measuring what they are attempting to measure especially since children may have qualitatively different thoughts to adults. Also, in order to make valid comparisons, people need to be studied for a long period of time. However, this is not always possible because there are high attrition rates within developmental studies as people may drop out or even die, which could reduce the study's validity. I hope this video has been useful for helping your understanding of developmental psychology. Be sure to check out some of our other videos for information on other approaches to psychology. Thank you for watching.